I took a quick browse over these new hero skills and right there and then I knew that this hero is just begging to be nerfed. I'm pretty sure that many players will find him T.O.P in all three phases of the game. Early, mid and late. Two ML games later. Just like I said, the nerf came in pretty quickly, oh my god, I will have to redo some of the clips I took off him. But that is what I'm here for guys, I do all the dirty work so you won't have to. Give you all the information you need so all you have to do is just sit back and relax. Hey everyone, what is up? Well, I'm Kukurapi, it's your go-to guy, Erwin. So Today we're gonna have a sneak preview of another upcoming Mobile Legends hero, Ling Cyan Finn. Ling is a very agile hero who can completely annihilate a lone squishy hero who lingers around the map. Ling's passive is Cloud Walker and it enables him to leap onto walls. It says in the skill description that he will need lightness points to cast his lightness skills. It didn't make any sense to me at first but from my understanding it seems that his skills are collectively referred to as lightness skills. Which I thought was something special. They're probably gonna do something unique about it like in the case of Fanny's energy and Granger's bullets instead of their regular mana. It may also be called Sing Gong and I hope I am not murdering the word by not pronouncing it correctly. Whenever Ling rests on a wall or damages enemies he restores lightness points to himself. Finch Boys grants him a passive effect that permanently increases his crit chance by a certain percentage that scales as he levels up and an active skill that allows him to leap from one wall to another and go into a camouflage state. This makes Cloud Walker, his passive skill, kinda redundant to say the least. Maybe the passive part of this skill is a better move to Ling's innate passive. What do you guys think? When Ling transfers from wall to wall, the cooldown of the skill and his camouflage are both reset. If Ling gets crowd controlled while mounted on a wall, he falls to the ground. Ling launches towards a designated direction and stabs nearby enemies with a chance to trigger critical damage. This skill is categorized as a basic attack so all factors that affect basic attacks such as slow effects, lifesteal, etc. can also influence the skill. If Ling casts Defiant Sword while he's mounted on a wall, he dashes towards a designated spot on the ground. If this attack triggers critical damage, the enemies within that same area will be stunned for a short duration. Tempest of Blades is Ling's ultimate. He circles into the air with his sword and can freely move anywhere immune to any type of damage until at least he merges back into existence. Once he becomes his normal form again, the ultimate deals damage to enemies in the area and the centermost enemy is knocked up into the air. It also generates four swords in four different corners from where Ling emerged. These swords are called field eyes and when Ling touches each one of them, the cooldown of Divine Sword is reset and Ling restores a few lightness points immediately. Prior to the recent nerf, there have been issues regarding Ling being untargetable when he's mounted on a wall. Now he can be targeted with skills, spells and other attacks, thank goodness. In addition, he can also be subdued to the ground when he gets crowd control. The slowing effect, however, which is technically a crowd control effect, doesn't seem to apply in this case. Just a minor bug and Moonton may just have to edit the skill description to be more specific. There are certain areas on the map when there aren't any nearby minions, apart from the lane minions of course. This makes it a problem for Ling users to be able to land onto the ground without having to look for someone to attack or cast Defiant Sword on. I'm not sure if this is intended, but in the event that there aren't any minions close to Ling and Ling also happens to be low on lightness points, he will just have to wait for a second or two so he'd be able to transfer to another wall that's closer to enemies he can attack, or so he could generate enough lightness points to cast Defiant Sword. His ultimate skill description states that only the centermost enemy gets knocked up into the air when Ling lands onto the ground. If enemies are close to the center, however, these enemies get knocked up into the air as well. If that was intended, then it's merely an inaccuracy in the skill's description. 
Here's one bug that I don't think I'd be able to describe properly. It appears that Chu got blasted out from Ling's ultimate and the stun still takes effect. It may or may not be an isolated case, but if you have an idea what happened here, feel free to justify in the comment section below. That's it you guys, thank you for watching. I personally think that there's still gonna be a series of nerfs that will be applied to this OP hero. Do you think that Link's attack damage is still way too ridiculous? Or do you think that his low HP actually compensates for his overall tremendous damage? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a comment, hit like and subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification bell to see more videos like this one. Until next time, once again my name is Erwin, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.